The match winner, Juan Mata, joins us now. Juan, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, well done winning that game and scoring the decisive penalty. More importantly than that, how good a match was it in building up the fitness towards that Chelsea game? Yes, uh, th that's the most important thing in precision. You know, we always say the same, uh, even when we win. Uh, but I think it's always better to win for the confidence, for the feeling. Uh, but today was tough, you know. Uh, they defended very well. Their goalkeepers were very good today. But I think we moved the, the ball quick. Fitness levels were OK. No injuries. Incredible supporters in, in Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway. So it's great to be here. And now another step on the on our way to, to Chelsea. It was great to see the, the fans here. I mean, Bojan, you know the, the support here in Scandinavia is huge for Juan and his teammates. And at least we put on a good display and treated the crowd to a win, although it was late from the penalty spot. Of course it is. It should always be a burden having this holy shirt on. The players need to know that. Uh, Juan is right, even if it's a friendly, the feeling in the dressing room is always nicer when you win games. It's another clean sheet, you build your confidence. The only thing I would like to ask Juan as well, if he notices the difference from the last preseason to this and what the difference has been on the training pitch. Well, to be honest, we've been training quite hard the first two, two and a half weeks. They were physically tougher than last season. Uh, obviously, the results have been better also, winning every single game. Uh, but I think it's good also for Ole and for his staff to have a full pre-season where we can play the way he wants us to play. We had time to train our patterns a little bit. We had time to train tactically, physically. So I think it's been good. You know, we have one more game obviously against uh, AC Milan and that will be the last chance to train and then we have to be ready for for the Chelsea game which is you know the start of a exciting season for all of us we know that we have to do better than last season and I think in this precision we are showing that you know we are good as a team the atmosphere is good and the results are coming. They certainly are and the nearly three weeks you had away in Perth and Singapore and Shanghai it was great to see the togetherness of the group from the playing staff there's a couple of new players in there they've settled in really well new additions to the backroom staff and they've settled in really well and everyone does appear to be pulling in the same direction yeah. and the spirit is great yes I think the manager said it not long ago you know the atmosphere is very good we have very nice people in the dressing room everyone trying to help everyone demanding from each other which I think is what we have to do in a, in a club like Manchester United in every single training we have to set high standards you know and that's the only way to compete and we know that we have to do that but as you said and as Oli said uh, the atmosphere is good everyone is you know willing to, to perform good to be ready for the manager and I think that's the first step Final question to you, Anne, before we let you go. Um, you've got a plane to catch getting back to Manchester and they're back in training tomorrow. The work continues as they build for the new season. Uh, a word to the fans, not just in Scandinavia, but all over who've uh, supported us so magnificently. Yeah, I mean, the support in here has been incredible, like in Australia, Singapore, China. You know, it's, it's a blessing to be in this club, to be honest, and travel around the world and feel what we feel. So to our supporters, we only can say thank you. Thank you for being with us also in the difficult moments and from myself that I will try to leave everything I have in the training ground, in the pitch to, to represent this club the best I can. Overall in the end, did you enjoy it? Yeah, of course I enjoyed it. Of course, we uh, it's been a build up to this game from uh, from the press, from my local uh, town, hometown and loads of people from our hometown and I thought they uh, held their own. They defended really well and of course we uh, couldn't really break him down. Lots of near things, lots of opportunities. Was it a case of not being quite clinical enough or were they very good at the back? Oh, well, they defended well and the, the, their keepers, uh, all three of them, did, uh, did really well. But it's one of these games that we, we might uh, get in the league sometimes, in the Cups, that they defend well. We have to break them down and sometimes it's the, in the 91st minute, sometimes you get it in the first minute. If you get an early goal, maybe the game opens up. I think they... Um, of course, they, they practice defending against a, a better, better team than them. And was it a bit of class in the end that did? It was Paul's through ball, Juan's run, and obviously he won the penalty. Yeah, the goal was was very good. Uh, of course, they, both teams have made loads of changes, so the structure of the game was gone. But uh, quality, uh, pass, uh, great run, and of course, you, 
you're happy winning the game. Then again, we've said all along, it's not about winning games, it's about putting a stamp on the team, getting uh, principles in, in play and uh, just work towards uh, match fitness. And we got 60 minutes out of a few and um, another game on uh, Saturday. Now you had a son alongside you on the bench, you had one that came on the field. Was it overall a proud night for you and your family? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, of course, Noah makes his debut for, uh, for them. Uh, in front of 28,000. That's uh, not very often a Norwegian uh, boy does. And of course, Elia next to me, he, was, he enjoyed it. And that's, um, that's what it's about uh, when you, you come back here. And I, I thought the boys, you know, their players have been in our dressing room, changed shirts, swapped shirts, took pictures. And I, I think they've uh, been absolutely outstanding, our boys. They, they're, um, they're, they're a joy to, to see now. The, the group, the camaraderie is good. Atmosphere is really good, so hopefully we'll get that into results when the league starts. Finally, only one to go, one game to go. It's come around quickly, isn't it? AC Milan, and uh, that's it? Very quickly, and then uh, that's what we're waiting for, though. The league, games that matter. Uh, these games are just they're important, but then again, that little edge was missing, and uh, when you play for three points, then the edge will come back.